Wow, dude. He even changes his posture. Bro, what? He has this like hunched I mean, I, I thing was, going but, on. That's why he looks so different. That was so subtle. But you still must keep your secret identity. The reasons are two. First, you cannot serve humanity 28 hours a day. <laughs> oh, it's a different time zone. <laughs> on Krypton. Your help would be called for endlessly, even for those tasks which human beings could solve themselves. Oh. Wow, what a great life lesson. Second, your enemies will discover their only way to hurt you by hurting the people you care for. Yeah, the first lesson is amazing. Like the human beings will become too dependent on you. They must solve most of the problems themselves. They can't rely on a god all the time. Our destruction could have been avoided but for the vanity of some who consider us indestructible. Exactly. That's so cool. At this very moment, I could embrace you in my arms. The Kryptonians thought they were so above destruction itself because they were probably, you know, indestructible too. And they were like, my son. a little bit of a planet's tectonic plate shifting around. It's not going to kill us. Too bad. My God. This movie has some amazing philosophical lessons, some discussions. Also some cool moments and some he heroic moments, jokes. How is it managing to do all of this? What the hell? Oh. And it's capturing Clark's loneliness so well. He can't really reach out and hold his father, his biological father, and also anybody else and be like, Ugh. can't talk to a therapist about it. Mr. Luthor, what's a myth? Something unreal, something not quite human. Something like you, Otis. <laughs> he cannot stop insulting Otis. And they're also living the life under a train station, aren't they? Living like kings. God. I should build an underground bunker or something. <gasps> oh, oh, Luthor really is bald. He just uses wigs in this movie. Oh my god. He's insecure about his hair, too. His hair loss, I mean. He's coming near to Metropolis. And at this particular time... Oh, this poor girl. She has to settle for artificial sun and an artificial beach. So sad. Also, is he swimming in sewer water? Can't imagine what's pouring underneath. Maybe this guy that flies is just sort of passing through, you know? Passing through. Did he just wet his swimming robe? Which I would gladly sacrifice, by the way, for the opportunity of destroying everything that he represents. Huh? I can see why Luthor insults him. He really is a dunce. The next time, put my robe on after I'm out of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> there really is no point to the robe after that happens. You can just walk around naked. It's much more comfortable than a heavy, wet robe. Okay, How does he fly? Oh, damn. Clark is really trying his best. It's like, okay, you're not gonna go out with Clark Kent. Where does he, he come from? Go out with does he have a girlfriend? What's oh. your favorite ball team, Kent? Now listen to me. <laughs> Kent could have probably answered that question correctly. She wants you? Uh, yeah, she. Black, no sugar. <laughs> Black, no sugar. You heard him? Chain of command, bitch. <laughs> this movie also has office politics. How is it squeezing everything? in one story. This is so good. Ooh. That is such a beautiful dress. Story of my life. Cinderella this like sky day. blue net on her. Good evening, Miss Lane. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have plans this evening? Well, listen, it's no trouble at all no. for you to come back later. Don't move! <laughs> Clark. You know, there must be a lot of questions about me that people in the world would like of, to know the answer. Of course, yes. Uh, he still has that bit of awkwardness in his tone and body language, even as Superman. Uh, you really shouldn't smoke, you know, Miss Lane. Don't tell me. Lung cancer, right? Well, not yet, thank goodness. Ooh, that discouraged her. Yeah, people smoked a lot back in the day, didn't they? Even doctors encouraged it for some reason. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, I don't, but uh, 
If I did, Miss Lane, you'd be the first to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> My man's got riz. How old are you? Over 21. Oh, I get it. You don't want anyone to know how old. And how big are you? How tall are you? <laughs> Asking the right questions there, Miss Lane. I would like to know too, for scientific reasons. You know? The rest of your bodily functions are normal? Sorry, I beg your pardon? Well, putting it delicately. Please do, Miss Lane. Do you eat? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Even this conversation is awkward. What the hell? Uh, is it true that uh, you can see through anything? He just did. But I'm glad he didn't see through her dress, into her boobs or something. But directly into her lungs. <laughs> what color underwear am I wearing? This platter must be made of lead. Uh, yes, it is, so? Oh, you see, I, uh, I sort of have a problem seeing through lead. Wow. So he has some deficiencies. What? Do I have a first name? Or was he what being a gentleman? Like, uh, Ralph or something? No, no, we'll I never mean, know. Like, uh, Pink. Huh? Pink. Oh, he wasn't being a gentleman. I mean, she asked, so. Do you like pink? I like pink very much, Lois. This is off the record, by the way. This is not going in the paper. Mm -hmm. I'm here to fight for truth and justice in the American way. <laughs> You're gonna end up fighting every elected official in this country. She is kind of right. The most corrupt people are the ones at the top, though. Um, Not the crooked criminals uh, stealing oh, some jewelry. Just how fast you fly. Even though they are, but, you know, in the grand scheme of things. You mean I can fly? <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, I'd be handling the flying if that's okay. Are you serious? Sure. Man, I'd be freaking the fuck out too, though. Yeah, it's wetter. It must be kind of cold. No, you'd be warm enough. I guess he has some, like, heat ray or something from his body. <laughs> Clark. Clark, uh, who's that, your boyfriend? Oh, Clark. No, he's nothing. He's just. He's quite smooth with it, with his secret identity. Even had to ask, who's Clark? It's not your boyfriend. <laughs> I'd be freaking out too. Holy shit, I can't even handle flying on a plane. Poor Clark. He didn't stand a chance against Superman, even though he did stop a bullet for her. <laughs> Man, this is so cool. Also, like, the best date ever. <laughs> oh, wow. This flying scene looks so good for its time. Like, even though there is some elements to it where you're like, okay. But... It just looks so nice, so like calming. This whole movie has like a calming aura about it. Really? How? It's like as a human being, Lewis has to have like incredible core strength <laughs> to do this at the moment. What the fuck? Is he gonna let her go? What? Oh! Oh! So much for flying. <laughs> Damn, this must be what it feels like when your parachute detaches mid-flight. I wouldn't know because the survivors never, you know, there are no survivors to tell the tale. This is so romantic. Holy shit. This is so cute. The only time like a superhero movie has been this romantic was like Spider-Man. The Tobey Maguire one. You can see right through me. The other movies like stopped, like the recent ones stopped caring about character building and relationship building almost. Oh my god. You belong in the sky. <laughs> that poor bird. It's like, what the fuck? He's gonna go home and talk to people, talk to his other birds about like, I just saw two dinosaurs flying. Damn, that was like the most romantic scene I've ever seen. Oh, we forgot to time ourselves. <laughs> oh well, maybe next time. I feel how Lois is feeling. Probably such an adrenaline rush for her too. What? You okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, good night! Damn. <laughs> Didn't even stay the night on the first date. What a gentleman. Superman. So he can't see through lead. Wait a minute, what? Did she, I, she coined the term Superman? Interesting. Uh, hi, can I come in? Oh yeah. Oh my God. That was a quick outfit change. Some blush on. 
Wow, dude. He even changes his posture. Bro, what? He has this like hunched thing going on. That's why he looks so different. That's why he has this like nerdy... Um, I mean, I, I was uh, at first really nervous about tonight. That was so subtle. Uh, but then I decided, well, darn it, I was gonna show you the time of your life. That's close, It's huh? not just the speech, it's not just the scaredy cat uh, personality or the awkwardness, it's also the posture. Now then. Okay, that's it. That's it. Christopher Reeves is the best Superman I've ever seen. Like, I love Henry Cavill to death, don't get me wrong, but oh my god. That is so too subtle. Good to be true. It's too good it's to be so true. Cool. He's six foot four, has black hair, blue eyes, doesn't drink. I think doesn't... you can take a shot every time I say this, but it's also so iconic. Others can read the ingredients on a chewing gum wrapper and unlock the secrets of the universe. What has chewing gum got to do with the secrets of the universe? She's like, oh my god, you're so lucky you have great tits. M! You want M, Mr. Luthor? Come on, right up. Good. So, there you go, M. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Mr. Luzon. He doesn't need I Superman to kill him. He's going to be killed by his own henchmen. Why does he keep him around? <laughs> For the entertainment, I guess. Do you know why the number 200 is so vitally descriptive to both you and me? What? It's your weight and my IQ. No. <laughs> oh, snap. Reasoning, that's the name Bro, of the game. he Fragments is from the planet such Krypton a troll. Exploded and went into outer space. He roasts the shit out of that guy every single time. It is reasonable to assume that some of those particles of debris drifted to Earth. Meteorites! Yavo. At least she figured it out before he did. Y you mean, to us, they are just meteorites. The level of specific radioactivity to anyone from the planet Krypton, this substance is lethal. Wow! You mean, fire and bullets can't hurt this guy, but this stuff here will kill him! <laughs> Lex Luthor found his kryptonite for real, dude. He can see you coming for miles with those super peepers of his. You gave them eyes, but they cannot see. Nor can Superman through lead. Ooh. He can't see through lead. And kryptonite will destroy him. Oh, he admitted that to Lewis. Bruh. Any questions, class? You gave away your fucking so Achilles heel? To the press? Come on. Clark. Like a Bernus. You know, it's just a wraparound. <gasps> Are we going to Addis Ababa? Okay, I'm also gonna say this is also the most iconic Lex Luthor ever. He is so sassy and such a, such a troll, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this on Tesla Autopilot? What? It's also better than the Tesla Autopilot. It's navigating pretty well. Do you live in England? I don't think so, Mr. Luthor. Why are you driving on the left side? Oh my god. Oh yeah, do you guys drive on the right side? Man. If I'm in America and I drive a car, I am driving into someone. We're also left side drivers here. Have you ever tried running in high heels? You probably have. No! <laughs> Snap! He's like, you dress up more than me with all your fucking 5,000 wigs, bitch. <laughs> well, I've had this happen too on remote control cars, but never a life-sized one. The shit. Is he gonna try and steal a missile? Okay. Damn, with that dress, yeah, everybody's stopping. The U.S., Russian, everything. All the armies. Oh my god, they're actually trying to steal the missile! For what, though? To kill Superman? He's having trouble breathing, sir. What do you think? Just, uh, vigorous chest massage. If that doesn't work, uh, uh mouth to mouth. Yes, sir. <laughs> he is so excited. <laughs> Anything I wouldn't be prepared to do myself. Yeah, but sir, in an ambulance. <laughs> oh god. Right, man, gather around. <laughs> Shit. This is like the first time anybody's excited to give CPR, I guess. This guy should have done that and, well, the whole mission would have been a massive failure. Now I see why Lex keeps her around. She proves to be a great distraction. Enough, enough, enough. Okay, now. 
Okay. By the way, what'd you have for lunch? <laughs> that guy had onion soup or something. <laughs> get a stretcher. 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 Go on, you guys. Get a stretcher. God. They're just ordering each other <laughs> to get a fucking stretcher. You've done very well. I've done very well. I said that. Oh my god. He's like, I gave you a compliment. Take it. Don't gloat. <laughs> Ugh. Now I feel bad for her. She had to get mouth to mouth from someone with bad breath. Ugh. Oof. How does Lex get anything done with this guy? <laughs> so funny, dude. But he did get the job done, so... Good for him. Incoming fat joke! Incoming fat joke! He's gonna say something really nasty. Seven and a third one to one hundred seventeen. What about the fourth one? The third one to one seventeen? Yes, she, I wrote it down. Oh no. Otis! The third one was supposed to be eleven, and the fourth one seven. Oh. Oh, he fucked it up. Oh no. Would you like to see a very, very long oh, arm? No, Mr. Luke. Otis! No, 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 no. Oh my god, somebody drive the fucking ambulance. Oh god. Otis is gonna need a real ambulance right now. Oh no. Lex needs new henchmen. <laughs> they are so incompetent. Also, what coordinates did he give to that missile? Where the fuck is it gonna go? Is it gonna cause like World War Three at the point? Another XK-101 being launched at the same time. See, there's another XK-101 being launched at exactly the same time. Oh, no. But there is another XK-101 being launched at exactly the same I time. I told you not to tell me that! Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 He's like, stop repeating what I said. Oh, my God. Mr. Luther, you mad? Your face isn't the answer for that. Otis also needs to get out of his abusive relationship. He takes a lot of insults and a lot of blows. <laughs> Wide load. <laughs> Ooh, now it's her turn to put in the coordinates. Hope she does a better job. Ooh, and she's also doing this in a dress and high heels, bro. This girl is insane. This man is a diabetic. And he has to have his insulin. What's uh, he eating chocolate for? Well, that gives him a lot of sugar. Oh, so they're distracting with type 2 diabetes and uh, incompetency. <laughs> Alright, I hope she put the right coordinates in. Or else I swear to God, Lace Luther is gonna die of a stroke. Why you would sell out to a faceless person that you've never met. I mean, you don't even know his name. Oh, yeah. Eyes on the road, girl. This worthless piece of desert, I hope it's custom. <laughs> Perfect, guys. Just what I need. Thank you. I like that Lewis is also doing actual detective work here, and it's not just focused on, like, Superman and stuff. Like, she was doing that kind of stuff in uh, Batman v Superman, but it didn't go anywhere, you know? Like, she was, like, investigating some type of, like, bullet. Who cares? I'm dirty today, okay? Good. But this Great. is, like, a real issue, you know? Uh, excuse me, why? I mean, People's lands being taken away for God knows what. Some unidentified clown out there is buying up thousands of acres of worthless desert at incredible prices. Probably Lex Luthor or the government to do some missile testing. I've been in this news game 40 years. And I got where I am with guts. Humility? No, not humility. You got bags of humility. <laughs> Take charge. Let people know who you are. Well, He's like, you're too much of a dork. <laughs> what? Oh, even the dogs can hear it. This is Lex Luthor. In approximately five minutes, a poison gas will be released through thousands of air ducts in the city. Oh, he is communicating him with him through ultrasound. Holy shit. Lex is two steps ahead. Lex knows about Superman more than he does. You knew you'd never accept an invitation to tea. Wow. What a disaster. With people in this danger. This is so cool. Like, nobody can hear this except him. And dogs. Pigeon. 
Oh my god, he like literally exited his office without <laughs> anybody noticing. Oh my god. Why did he do an outfit change so quick? Yeah, he has no time to waste. A poison gas is about to be released here. Nobody. This is a trap because Lex knows about the Stand back, please. Shit. Stand back. It's all right. Nothing to get worried about. Oh my god. Oh my god. He spun so fast, he bore a hole into the ground. <laughs> Boring company, look out, there's competition. Look at that overgrown boy scout, Miss Tashmacher. Tell me what you see. Cuteness? Dimples? You like cuteness? Oh no. Dimples? <laughs> Probably not the answer he was looking for. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at the bullets bouncing off of him. <laughs> it's like, bitch, please. This is so stupid. You know what they say if you uh, can't stand the heat, get out of the tunnel. Oh. So Luther is testing his like limitations here. He knows things, but he also has never met him and knows all about him. Why don't you do yourself a flavor and freeze? Oh, now it's like ice. Interesting. He's trying out everything and leaving the best for last. Uh, I like how <laughs> even she's feeling cold just looking at it. Oh, wow. So the outer layer does get frozen, but not the inside, I'm guessing. He did stay in the snowy mountains for years. Oh man, Lex is getting properly frustrated. I like how his clothes are also unfazed by all of this. He did fly into Earth with those clothes, so... Like, it, all the materials from Krypton are invincible on Earth. That's interesting. Luther is so confident. It's open, come in. <laughs> and she's impressed. <laughs> My attorney will be in touch with you about the damage to the door. Otis, uh, take the gentleman's cape. Oh my god. He does seem like the petty type that will not let the door go, too. Is that how a warped brain like yours gets its kicks? By planning the death of innocent people? No, by causing the death of innocent people. Oh my god. He is so diabolical. And he relishes in it. God. Fire. Yeah, he wasn't kidding about the poison gas thing. He did recalibrate those missiles. As you may or may not know, I am, as they say, very heavy in real estate. Oh, he was the one buying those desert lands. Everything west of this line is the richest. Everything on this side of the line, worthless desert, which just so happens to be owned by Alex Luthor Incorporated. Yeah, I knew it was Lex. The joining together of two land masses. The fault line is unstable and shifting, which is why you get earthquakes in California from time to time. Wonderful. Couldn't have said it better myself. Also, I love the fact that uh, Superman isn't just all reliant on his powers. He's also a bookworm. He knows about the San Andreas Fault and everything. Millions of innocent people would be killed. The West Coast as we know it would fall into the sea. Bye-bye, California. Hello, new West Coast. My West Coast. Oh, that's why he's buying all the shitty land. He wants to turn it into the new Los Angeles. Otisburg? Okay, I just wipe it off. That's all. It's a little... Otis is trying. I, mean, I would too. Your plan couldn't possibly work. I'll admit there were a few problems adjusting the precise trajectory of the missile. I love that the hero and the villain are having such a casual conversation yes, uh, about geography zero, in this right movie. <laughs> here. Oh, he recalibrated the missile to the San Andreas Fault, I think. Or I could be wrong. I promise you my friends and I are going to do all we can to get to the bottom of this. Man, they're focusing so much on these, like, townspeople and Lois. Oh, no. I feel like the missile is heading directly towards them. Trajectory malfunction, sir! And abort! Oh, he also cut out the abort signal from those missiles. Clark, get out of that conversation. You can have tea later. Lex is such an evil villain that he planned this shit. That's why he's living underground. Don't tell me this entire bunker is made of lead. That's why he's unable to hear or 
it, like even Mr. like interpret what's going on outside. Like he couldn't hear the Canyon. distress signal or anybody else. Bro, why are you screaming? Even you with your great speed couldn't stop both of them. Well, I, on the other hand, could stop them with my detonator. Where is it? Where's a detonator? Oh my god. He was screwing with him. <laughs> For a little too long. You diseased maniac. Do you really think you could hide it from me by encasing it in lead? Oh no. That lead box has something else. Don't touch that. Wait. Oh my god. He walked right into the trap. A little souvenir from the old hometown. I've spared no expense to make you feel right at home. Oh my god. Mind over muscle. Superman really underestimated Lex. He's like, you're just a mortal. Oh my god. You don't even care where the other missile's headed, do you? I know exactly. Hackensack, New Jersey. <sighs> Wait a minute, wasn't he from New Jersey? Or no? <laughs> I, can't. I have to leave you now. Oh no God. hard feelings. We all have our little fault. Mine's in California. God, he essentially just like bought him a necklace. <laughs> the necklace of death. My mother oh my lived God. in Hackensack. I think Superman was just so calm because he thought this is like a mortal. Can't hurt me. I can now see why he lives 200 feet below ground. Mr. This guy screams so loud. Even Superman was taken aback by it. Kryptonite is like, I'm guessing Kryptonite is heavier than like a giant boulder around his neck. Superman shouldn't have taken him so lightly. I think he <laughs> inherited his planet's disease of ego a little bit. He felt a little too invincible. Wait a minute. Is she gonna feel bad for him? What? What the hell? You can't just stand there and let millions of innocent people die. Maybe. Please. <laughs> Wait, was it for my mother? Oh, I'm guessing her mother lives in New Jersey or some shit. If I help you, do you promise to save my mother first? Oh, I promise. I promise. Oh, this changes things. Otis did, made the mistake, but that mistake could save everybody's life. Bro, what a twist. Oh my god. Like I said. Lex should have fired his employees long ago. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Your mom's about to die. <laughs> what the fuck? Stop being so horny. <laughs> why did why did you kiss me first? I didn't think you'd let me later. <laughs> Is it, I can't get it on with a good guy. <laughs> because you don't ask for consent when you kiss them. <laughs> He's gonna get there on time, I believe it. He's probably got supersonic speed or something. I That girl better run because Lex may tolerate her sassiness, but he's not gonna tolerate that kind of betrayal. Oh, Ooh, Lewis is right in the thick of it. She is in the San Andreas Fault, I think. He's gonna be having a moral crisis right now. Does he save the girl's mother or does he save Lois? Oh my god. Even people started spotting it. Actually, sir, it looks like it's headed for New Jersey. New Jersey? What the hell's in New Jersey? <laughs> my god, Otis saved so many people's lives right now. With his mistake. Oh my god. Oh my god, everybody can see the missile. And she was right, he is truthful. He said he was gonna save his mo her mom first and he's gonna do that. Oh my god. Is he even gonna get there in time? Oh, got it. He's gonna take it up to space, of course. 
This scene looks so good, though. Just gotta say it. For its time? It looks like Superman actually lifted up. It looks like he actually lifted it off to space. Oh, there's still this one. 15 seconds and counting. 15 seconds, bro. Lewis is about to be barbecue. My God, and Andreas. Oh, no. It actually dropped? Wow. He didn't get there on time. I actually thought he would. This is why I like older movies. They don't make it all, like, perfect, you know? There is going to be mistakes, even by Superman. I hope those villagers are okay, though. Oh my god, I hope it didn't fall on them. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's inside the Earth's core? Bro, what are you gonna do? Oh, I didn't expect that shit. I just thought he was gonna take Lewis and run. And be like, fuck Hollywood, I guess. Oh my god, that is iconic. Even the Hollywood sign didn't survive this. Ooh, this looks like a 10 magnitude earthquake. Wow, the houses are shaking like paper, bro. Yep, that's me. I would have escaped the same way. Oh my god. Ooh, this brings back memories of the Nepal earthquake. That, that footage of that was insane, bro. Oh my god. How did they do this? Man, this looks so real. I gotta go into the behind the scenes element of this movie. It's just so ahead of its time. Oh god. <laughs> this train is about to be derailed. They're showing every element of this earthquake. Like trains, buildings, residential areas. Oh my god, stop the train, stop the train. Oh my god, don't stop the train. There's about to be landslides, yup. Bridges. It's a f it's showing everything that's being affected. This is amazing. I'm blown away by... Of course, like, there was, like, Star Wars and shit, but... This is so good. Because this is exactly what happens in an earthquake. Cars run, in e run into each other, trains get derailed, landslides, everything. Oh my god, what is he doing? Did this motherfucker just fix the San Andreas fault from underneath? Thank god he paid attention in geography class. Holy shit. <laughs> Even the Hollywood sign is fixed now. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no, this bridge. Yeah, you can't fix a fucking bridge though. Wow. <laughs> He was even on time to save a school bus, bro. It's all right now. No stone left unturned. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> no way, bro. No way. My jaw is on the floor. How the fuck did this movie cram everything into it? Oh my god. It showed a train rescue. It showed a bus rescue and now this? Bro. He is me. He can't stop taking pictures. This is no ordinary earthquake, too. Like, no matter how much Superman tried to, like, you know, fix it from underneath, it's still causing damage. I like that. It's not like a one-stop solution to the whole thing. Gentlemen, is that man all right? Yeah! He's making sure everybody is all right. Holy shit. Hang on, kid. Oh my god, he did save him! Go ahead, shoot. Yup! This is gonna be... 
on Time magazine, baby. This is gonna be the most iconic photo ever. It's gonna be a flood. Can Superman save all of these people though? Be safe here, son. That's okay! This land will be dark by any minute! Oh, he heard Lewis. He knows what to do. Oh my god, that's gonna be a landslide. Yep, there's gonna be a landslide. Oh my god. I love the fact that this earthquake is like not stopping. No there matter has what. Been a major quake damage oh, to Southern shit. California. Oh, she didn't fuel up on time. Aftershocks. God, I fucking hate aftershocks. We live in a very earthquake prone area. So. The aftershocks keep you up at night, that's the problem. And they happen so frequently after the big earthquake. Oh my god. You should have just ran. <laughs> but no, there's like big boulders flying at her, so oh my god. This is so terrifying! This is more terrifying than the Superman versus Zod fight in Man of Steel, I'm just gonna say it. Oh my god, she's about to be buried! Bro! No! The Superman vs. Zod fight had so much destruction in it, but it still didn't feel like anything. This is like... Oh. This is like an anxiety attack. This is like a... An hour-long earthquake. Oh my god. Shit. And also, this was caused by one person. It's blowing my mind. That this was all caused by Lex. Sisyphus, you better grab onto that. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's trying to block the... He's trying to block the flood. With stones. Oh, man. Thank goodness this boy paid attention in geology. And geography. And science. And was a nerd. Till the very end. Holy shit. If this was like the Henry Cavill Superman, he would have just punched everything. <laughs> You're like, how dare you threaten my mother? <laughs> oh my god. I love it. I love that he's like solving problems as he goes along, like, you know, saving people, saving... I hope he saves someone. Holy shit. Oh my god, this girl is about to be buried alive and crushed. Incredible. I thought there was just no way he was going to be able to save the town. There was just no way. But he did. With science. Oh my god. But did he though? Oh no. Oh. Looks like the townspeople are going to have water for the first time. Oh my god. The man did say they were going through some type of drought because of that dam, I'm guessing. No water, no nothing. Man. I can't believe, like, Lex actually did something right. Unconsciously. Holy shit, bro. This is- this is actually sad because this happens for real. In so many places. This is so tragic. It took a natural disaster to give these people some water. Oh, can he hear Lewis? Oh my god, can you please fucking save that girl? <laughs> yep. Damn, she's about to be buried alive and crushed. Oh my god, this is the worst death ever. <laughs> I can't believe the anxiety people felt when they saw this in theaters. Oh, shit. This is like the worst death ever. To be asphyxiated and buried like this. Fuck, don't tell me. Oh shit, she actually did get buried. I thought he would get there on time, but he didn't. Ooh, look at that car, bro.
Ugh, it's the way she was buried and like asphyxiated too. Oh my god. Wow, they actually killed Louis in this movie? What the fuck? Oh, and the way she went too. Oh my god. That was so terrifying. That was like the most terrifying death ever. <sighs> Her last moments were so scary. Oh my god. I wouldn't wish that kind of death upon my worst enemy. Oh no. And he is Superman, so he can feel her pulse if there was, but there isn't any, so... He can see through her, so he would have seen her heart beating, but oh no, I guess there isn't any. This film is too real. This film is a little too real, I'm just gonna say it. God, there's... <sighs> they killed her in the most gruesome way possible. I can't even mourn her death right now. I'm so much in shock. He is gonna grieve so badly right now. <laughs> he is gonna kill Lex and fucking throw him in space. Absolutely. It is forbidden for you to interfere in human history. One thing I do know, son, and that is you are here for a reason. Oh, he can hear both his fathers. Jorel and J. Kent. But I couldn't even save him. Oh no, listen to your dads. Supersonic. What's he doing? I thought he was gonna go kill Lex. Wait a minute, he's traveling really fast. Fast like the Flash? What the fuck? Oh my god! No! Don't tell me the Flash also borrowed. Not Flash, sorry. Justice League borrowed this too. He traveled so hard he went back in time? Bruh. These new movies are not original. Oh my god. In Zack Snyder's Justice League, The Flash did this. He ran so fast, he traveled back in time. Oh, what the f fuck? But Jor-El specifically said, don't interfere in people's businesses. Well, he's gonna fuck up the space-time continuum or something right now. In an earthquake, I had this gas station blow up beside my car. There's telephone poles falling all over the road. Man, the way Lois died was just so scary right now to see her all clean and I'm shit. sorry about that, Lois, but I've been kind of busy mm. for a while. Holy I'm shit. Sorry. All right. So he's more powerful than the Flash, too. I just realized. Man, he's more powerful than the entire Justice League. There's something I have to do. <laughs> I'll see you later. Wait a minute. Don't leave them there. That's where Lois died. <laughs> Don't tell me. He just went back in time and shit, and then Lois dies Clark. again. <laughs> Clark, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Lois Lane, that is the silliest idea you ever had. I think he really cares about you. Clark, of course he does. Oh, not Clark. Man, she had an epiphany. That, wait, Clark? Superman cares Superman, about Superman, everything. Superman, Clark, TV. wait, uh, uh, oh no. <laughs> but, uh, I guess Clark really does sell his awkward personality really well but he's not acting i think half the time he really is very nervous. jimmy my hair but the posture oh my god that scene it's gonna stay in my mind forever oh gosh i didn't have any film <laughs> what's he gonna do right now is he actually gonna kill <laughs> alex man you must have been yep he did see his girlfriend die that does something to a person Please tell me Miss Thing is alright. She did betray Lex. Oh yeah, I forgot about the animals. He does keep a few animals in there. What are they? Space animals? <laughs> oh no. That's what you get to do right there. He saved her! What the hell? By the way, Miss Tessmacher, your mother sends her love. <laughs> so much for feeding her to the tigers or bears or whatever is in there. Oh my god! <laughs> god. 
Lex is Good so evening, lucky. I think these two men should be safe here with you that now. That Superman can travel back in time because he would have turned him into mush. Lex Luthor, the greatest criminal mind of our time. That these walls. He is. Will you shut up, please? You right, cause a boy. ten-point earthquake. <laughs> oh my God. This country is safe thanks to you. Don't thank me, Warden. We're all part of the same team. Oh. I love that he works with everybody here. It's not like a vigilante or some shit. Oh my god. Iconic! <laughs> Whoever took a shot every time I said iconic, rest in peace, sir. Let me see if there are any end credit scenes here. <laughs> no. <laughs> this isn't Marvel. Or New Time DC. Wow, it's close to midnight right now. <laughs> Time really flew in this movie. It's over three hours long. I think I'm gonna need a break for actually having some coherent thoughts right now because I just realized I've been sitting here for over three hours and I didn't feel the length of this movie. Like, wow. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna have so much trauma from watching Lewis die like that. Holy shit. But you know what? I really, really need a break right now. But before I leave, I have no words right now. I'm struggling. So before I actually say something flippant or nonsense, I'm going to go and I'm going to drink some water and I'm going to write a proper review break and then come back with my thoughts on this amazing, amazing movie. Okay, so if you haven't like guessed it, I loved the shit out of this movie. Okay, so be right back. I hope you enjoyed both parts to my Superman reaction. I was not expecting this movie to be this long, so I didn't write any review breaks. I feel like I've said everything I need to say and I didn't want to like bore you guys too much. But this is the kind of movie where the three hours don't feel like three hours. The runtime felt like it was like two hours long or something, you know? Like the only other time I can recall is Green Mile when that happened, when that movie was like three hours long. And I don't know, I just enjoyed this movie so much, but now I want to know from you guys, what did you think about Superman? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? What were your first impressions with Christopher Reeves as Superman? Do you like him or do you have another favorite Superman in mind? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you want to watch the full reaction to this or if you just want to support this channel, you can at patreon.com slash Nation or you can make a one-time donation and buy me a coffee at Shree Nation. You can also become a channel member by clicking on the join button next to the subscribe button. You can also subscribe to my second channel in case anything happens to this one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I didn't waste your time. See you next week.